How's it going, YouTube? Chris here, my home theater. Got a brand new video for you today. I want to do a follow up review on my Panasonic UB9000. Now, I've had this for just over three months now. It was delivered on February 27th, and now it's March, May 31st. So, I've had it just over three months. So, I want to look at the unit, I want to look at the remote. And I want to talk about my experience and what I think uh, is the UB9000 worth the money that you have to pay for it. So let's turn this camera around. So guys, first thing I want to do is I want to look at the remote. Now I used the remote for just a little while uh, after I purchased it. And I really like the remote and I like the fact that it has a light. So if I turn the lights off and you see the little bottom buttons glow and they light up so you can actually see what's going on it has all kinds of features and stuff on it and i really 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 like the remote it works good for the most part i don't use it uh i use my harmony elite remote it's just convenient because everything works off of it but if i have to get in and do some things to it then i definitely use this remote and the remote works good it's plastic it's backlit it's not very it's it's kind of big i guess it's, it's bigger than the the elite remote but it's very easy to use lightweight and you know it's got every button on there that that you need and i just hit the button on my movie so but guys remote is awesome uh and i really like it but this is mostly where it stays in here with the rest of the remotes so getting on to the unit getting on to the unit it absolutely looks phenomenal i love how it looks in the rack that brushed aluminum look the display and the buttons, I like the buttons on the front because a lot of times I walk up here and I hit the button, open it up, close it back. It's just convenient and I like it. Now, I haven't had not one issue with this unit. Now, I got this as an open box buy. Now, I'm always uh, shopping around and i think these are going i think normal price may have been 9.99 they still may be 9.99 i've seen them for 1.099 i've seen them for 11.99 i've seen them right on up now i think i got this one for like 800 and something it was uh either just over 900 or, or right under 900 uh open box it came in everything looked brand spanking new i've had zero issues with this unit so it's if it would have been a brand new unit i mean i'd have been happy with it um every disc i've thrown at it whether it's been i played some dvds in here played uh, blu-ray 3d blu-ray 4k everything i've thrown at it it is absolutely have not had any issues i've had no freezing up the only time i've ever had a freezing up i take the disc out uh, there was something overlooked when I put it in, maybe a little smudge on the disc. Uh, I put, I had some new discs, a uh, Meraki box set. It had some stuff on the back uh, from the manufacturer. So I've cleaned the disc, put it in. But as far as the issue that I was having with my Sony, with it just randomly freezing up, no issues. I've got a buddy of mine. He's got the 820. He has the freezing up issues or, or or has had a few issues with it. Um, so, guys, is this worth the money? Yes, I, I, I think it is. Um, I will I will I won't even have to look for another unit. Now, I know everybody says that the Oppo was a good player. Well, I didn't have an Oppo. I've never owned an Oppo. I know they're some really good players. Uh, this is the highest end player I've ever owned, and I, I don't think I need to look any further. Uh, it absolutely just works. It works too good for me to even think about 
looking at another player. Now, I know there's some new ones that's entering the market. I can't remember the names right now, and they're priced up above this. And uh, I've seen the reviews on them. I've read articles on them. It's not for me, guys. If you can spend the money to get the UB9000, I think it's worth it's worth every penny. Uh, a lot of people say that the 820 uh, basically is the same unit. I don't I don't I don't have a clue. Um, I just I just I don't know. I mean, there's a, there's there's a reason why there's there's over five hundred dollars difference in the price, and I don't know if it's just the chassis. I don't know if it's internal components. I don't I don't know. I mean, if if, if you got the 820 and you're happy with it, then that's fine. But if you're looking for the absolute best, my opinion, now it's my opinion, unit on the market, then I think the Panasonic UB9000 is the way to go. Now, I like to say, I have not reviewed because I'm not there yet, and I'm not spending $1,300, $1,400, $1,500 or more on a player just to see if it's any better than this Panasonic. I don't think it's going to be. I mean, if a manufacturer sends me one for me to try out, I'll give my honest opinion on it. If it beats the pants off this Panasonic, I'll tell you. But right now, for the money, I don't think you're going to get any better than this Panasonic. You're not going to get any better. And I know I went through the setting up on this unit. I haven't changed anything. I haven't changed any settings that I did on my first video about this unit. It just, it just, they don't need anything. It's just, I plugged it up. I set everything. The only thing I've done different, I had this on Wi-Fi, and I have since hardwired it uh, just, just, just for, because I've, I've networked everything, pretty much everything in the house. So everything in, in the cabinet's hardwired, except this, because the update is not out for internal Wi-Fi. But as soon as it is, that'll be hardwired. So that's the only thing I've changed on this unit since I've got it. I've put disc after disc after disc, movie after movie. I've reviewed movies. I've compared this to my Sony. I have the X800, and it is a good unit. And sometimes the picture seemed close, but but the Panasonic just, just there was always a little detail that the Panasonic would pull out that the X800 could. It's just, it's just a better unit. and. Like I said, guys, for the money, I don't, I don't think you're going to beat it. I don't think you're going to beat it. Somebody may come out and say, hey, I got a $5,000 4K Blu-ray 3D does all this, and it even, may even be an 8K player. If you want to spend that much money, you go right ahead. If you got it, spend it. I mean, it's, it's, I mean you know, that, that's, that's, that's personal preference. But I'm telling you, for the money, and somebody like me, uh, this is a, a buy once, cry once. It was kind of a stretch because uh, I've been on a budget here for a little while. And I've kind of blown my budget out of the water, but it's all good. It's all good. I, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting done now. But uh, Panasonic, guys, you won't go wrong. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this unit. Uh, like I say, I don't, I've, I don't, I've never had the, I think it's a four, four, I don't know if it's a 420 or a four Panasonic. I know it's an 820 and then you got the 9,000. I haven't had any of them. I just know a friend of mine's got an 820 and I see on Facebook, a lot of guys have the 820 and they like them. Um, but the guys that's got the 9,000 will tell you real quick, it's just one of the best units on the market. So. Guys, I think it's unanimous. Um, if you got the 9,000, which I know uh, a lot of my friends on YouTube have it, um, and I, I know some of them has compared other players, but guys, if, if you are watching this video, and I know my first video got a lot of views with the unboxing and the setup and everything, but if you guys have this unit, if you have it, uh, drop, hey, drop down in the uh, comments and let me know what you think about it. If you've got the 820 or the 4, it may be the 4, 410, 420, whatever it is. I mean, if you like it, hey, let me know. If you've, had a, if you've got a Panasonic 
9,000 and you've had issues with it, let me know because I have, and now it's only been three months and I have had zero issues. And this was an open box unit. It didn't look, I mean, it came in a box and looked open, but I mean, everything looked brand new. There wasn't a scuff, a piece of dust on anything. So I'm going to consider this a new unit, but I bought it as an open box and saved a couple hundred bucks. So guys, if you, if you have this unit, you ever had any issues with it? Hey, let me know in the description. Let me know in the description. I'd like to know. I really would. Because I haven't. So let's turn this camera around. Let's wrap this video up. So guys, that is my that is my honest review. Now I bought this unit. I paid for this unit. Uh, I, I don't I don't have affiliation with nobody because I'm on my own right now. I, I've got 2,300 subscribers. <laughs> ain't no, ain't a whole ain't nobody sending me nothing to review. But I'm telling you. My hard-earned money, I do not regret buying that Panasonic, period. I don't regret it. It, it, is, it is a fantastic unit, and you won't go wrong. If you save up your dollars, save up your pennies, and you want, in my opinion now, the best 4K player on the market, you'll get that 9,000 9, Panasonic. That's, that's just what I think. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed my little review. I think it's a wonderful unit. If I ever have any issues out of it, I'll do a video on it. I'll let you know. But so far, the picture quality has been phenomenal on this unit. Zero problems. So, I mean, I, I can't ask for anything better. I, I really can't. I can't ask for anything better. So, guys, let me know in the comments about your experience with the Panasonic. And uh, we're going to be doing some up, up, update videos on some other items I have. So, guys, I hope you have a good night, and we'll see you again real soon.